Alright, welcome back everyone to another text tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D main menu in uh, Unity 3D. Uh, so, uh, this is going to be the main menu we're going to be making today, and uh, my game is called 3 Worlds now. It's not called Lost Worlds. I've revamped the project kind of. It's about this time traveler who travels to three different worlds in three different times, and one of the worlds is Lost Worlds, however. So, the map is not abandoned, only the plot of the project, okay? So let me just show you what we're going to be making today. You can see here, we can look around in our main menu, and you will have three options, play game, about, or exit. Now, if you notice, if we go on top of a, uh, one of the text or options, it should make this click kind of sound. I'm going to show you how to do that today. And you can see this is going to be the starter level with this portal over there. And this is the military base. And you can see there's a jet right there, and if you notice, there's a jet flying by. There you go. So, um, anyways, this is what we're going to be making today. So, first of all, you will need to create a separate scene, which uh, you're going to create your main level on, menu on. Um, it could be your main level without the character or anything, just a plain, simple level. So, this is what I created just now. So, let me just load it. Okay, this is the level I created just now. And we're going to add our logo over here and then our two options to play the game and exit the game. Now, firstly, you're going to add a camera to the scene, which is going to be pointing towards where the main menu is going to be. So if you want to add a camera, game object, create other, and then you're going to add a camera. Okay, and uh, once you're done with that, let's add our logo. So there are two ways you can add a logo. You can either create one in Photoshop or you can add a GUI text or 3D text which I'll show you in a bit. So um, if you want to add a logo from Photoshop, you're going to save the logo with a transparent background as a PNG file because uh, PNG files can support transparent backgrounds. And then when you import it into Unity, just drag it into the project folder. Let me just find that logo. Okay, This is the one I made and it's got this white background but Whenever you import a logo, it automatically creates a material, you can see right here. Now this has a transparent background, however, so that's no problem for me. Now let's create a plane because we're going to apply this material to that plane. And if we add a GUI texture, however, it's just going to stick to the screen. Now we are making a 3D main menu, right? So we need to uh, add a plane it's instead. So game object, create other, and then plane. And then you're going to rotate this until you see a white surface towards the camera. So, minus 90. Pull this a little back. Okay. And on the mesh renderer, on the materials, and then we're going to change the element zero variable to the material that was automatically created with our logo. So, it's usually the same name, so let's just import this there. And there we go. So let's just rotate this. <laughs> kind of sick. So. And uh, let's just move this a little back. Now I'm going to move this a little back, and I'll tell you why in just a bit, OK? So there is our logo. <laughs> and now let's create a GUI text. You can also use the GUI text to create your main title. If you want to know how to do that, Go to game object, create other 3D text, and there should be a text. But there are some uh, things you should know of right now. So let me just rotate this and let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so firstly, you would notice that the text is pretty blurred up. Let me just zoom in, zoom in for a bit, and you can see the text is pretty blurred. And if you want to know how to fix that, I'll show you in a bit. But uh, there are times when you want to add your own fonts, right? And this font is just not necessary. I mean, the Arial font is used by everyone, and you want to add your own font. Well, if you want to add your own font, it's easy. Uh, to add a custom font, you just go to your font section in the control panel. You just go to control panel and then fonts, and you will get your list of fonts that is installed in your computer. You find a font you want, uh, and then you drag it into Unity. So let me just find one that I imported, and it's called Mayan. Okay, so you just drag it in and it imports automatically. And then, uh, let's just delete this 3D text. 
you're going to select on your font make sure it's selected then go to game object create other and then 3d text and it should automatically be created with the font you selected but there's one more thing we need to fix the blurred up text now how do we fix that that should be no problem it's a, it's a very simple fix to that actually all you need to do position it where you want okay and then on the text mesh under the font size variable you're gonna increase it to about 50 let's say then enable the scaling tool and you're gonna scale it down and look at that it's already it's already sharp that's all there is to it let me just bring this forward a bit okay and uh, let's change this hello world because we don't need it so on the text mesh on the text we'll type play game whoops that's wrong okay and uh, over here in the hierarchy view let's just change the name of this to play game just to make it easier and then let's duplicate this to make an exit button so duplicate that just, just drag it down and there we go now uh, we still don't know how to collide with the text if you notice uh, there is no collision or any box colliders or whatever it is to it I'll show you what I mean in a bit uh, just let me add this script now if you want to, if uh, for the script, uh, there will be a script in the link in the description where you can download. It's called the hover script, which you can see right over here. I'll just drag it and apply it to the options. So let me just apply it to both of them. Let me just go to, to to the play game one. It should automatically add an audio source because, like I said earlier, if uh, we're gonna also move a cursor on top of one of the options and it should make some kind of noise now when it produces a kind of noise that's an audio source so that's why it has added an audio source and if you look below there's a hover script so your options level to load now uh, when we click on play game it should load up a main level so we're going to type in what our level is called now you will need to add your level into the build settings file build settings and you'll need to add your level here so add your current one which is this one and uh, the, usually the main menu is added as level 0 okay make sure your uh, main menu is level 0 and then you're gonna open up your main level scene and then you're gonna click add current again and it should be added as uh, main level 1 now you can see it's, all, it's set as about but it doesn't matter okay so usually when you add your main scene there is a name so this is my first level it's called military camp level zero and um, uh, let's just type title sequence so let's say this play game button should load up this title sequence uh, level so on the level to load let's type title sequence so now let's test it but there's gonna be a problem because it still doesn't work because it doesn't yeah we don't know how to collide with it so we need to add a box collider with it so click on your uh, GUI text under the hierarchy view uh, component physics box collider so now you can see there's a re green rectangle around it that's the collision area we can collide with and uh, let's click play and if you click play game it should load up the level okay but there are times where it won't work because of one thing this you know this uh, the plane over here you can see how much of area it's taking just look at the blue grid it's taking up so much of area and if this plane is in front of your two options it, it must be probably blocking the colliders beh behind it which is this so this whole area is blocking access to this so that's why I just move it a little back okay now as of this video that was no problem at least so let's just move it a little back like that and then you can scale it up if you want okay and let's just check it again to see if it's working okay it's working fine now you may be thinking how you do the mouse look thing okay I'll just remove that because I did a previous attempt and it did not work well okay so you're gonna click on your main camera go to component camera control mouse look and when you first notice when you play the game you can see we are moving too much like we're moving 360 degrees then we're looking too much towards up and down and then we're moving too quickly actually so to correct this 
click on your main camera and go down on the mouse look <coughs> under sensitivity X we're gonna slow this down to 5 as well as as well as sensitivity Y to 5 minimum X which is uh, 360 degrees where we look around we'll change that to minus uh, 40 let's say and maximum X is 40 minimum Y is gonna be minus 15 and minimum Y is 15 so let's check it out okay there shouldn't be much of a problem we are limited to move only this way and you can see it's kinda of slowed down and if you look up there's also a limit so yeah this should be okay and if I click play game you should obviously load up your level right there now for the exit button let me just go there so we also again need to add a box collider so component physics box collider so we can collide with it let me just move this a little down just in case if it interferes with this one just move this a little bit more down yeah it should yeah it's okay now and we'll go down again and you can see the hover script and uh, there is also an option but it is a quit button if it is a quit button enable it this exit button is actually a quit button so what it does is that when you click the exit button it should quit the game it's as simple as that okay so let's test it out again one more time you can see we can look around properly play a game yeah it should work well but uh, if you're testing the exit button from unity itself it's not gonna work okay but once you build the game or export it then it should work of course and one last thing if you wanna add sounds when we hover the uh, the uh, options <clears throat> just go back to your option and under uh, sound hover sound hover is the sound which is going to be applied when you when the cursor moves over the text so let me just find that sound which I downloaded funny thing is it's called a briefcase lock it's a briefcase lock sound but it pretty much sounds like as if you try to click something or something like that so that's why I downloaded these two so number six will go to sound hover number nine will go to the beep now the beep sound variable is when you click it okay so let's do the same thing for the other one. Oh yeah also one last thing um, for the exit button you don't have to type a level to load uh, you don't have to type anything for the level to load variable okay that's not necessary and uh, let's test it to see if the sound works well there we go there we go when we click it makes that sound and then it brings this level so yep yeah, that's pretty much it how to create a 3d navigational main menu in unity 3d hope you enjoyed the tutorial in, ne in the next tutorial i'll uh show you how to add sounds to your game and how this roll off factors and all that i'll show you how to do that okay so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you did why well, subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day